Pretty proud of this one. Do you guys think I should post a picture on Instagram? Hashtag my cupcake addiction, hashtag insta sweet, hashtag insta bakers, hashtag insta cake. Welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a huge Instagram logo brownie. There's no secret that I love Instagram. I'm on there all the time posting and I have made Instagram candy bars before. I'll leave a link to that video down below. I also made an Instagram cake about three and a half minutes before Instagram changed their logo. So with new logos comes new desserts. To make your giant Instagram brownie, you're of course going to need some brownie. So I'm using a double batch of my basic brownie mix that's anything but basic. I'll link to that full recipe down below or you can cheat a little here and use store-bought. I've baked mine in one large tray, but again, you can change up the size. You can do these minis, you can make a massive one, you can do something in between, depending on the trays that you've got at home. You don't need terribly much other than the brownie for this recipe. I've got some candy that I've separated into all different colored bowls. I've got a little bit of white fondant and I've got just some chocolate and cream because in my opinion, these chocolate brownies are always best with a super rich fudgy chocolate ganache. Let's get started. First up, you wanna bake your brownie. So I've lined my tray with a little bit of parchment and I'm baking my double batch for about 20 to 25 minutes until that brownie just starts to get flaky on top. Once it's cooked, cool it and then put it in either the fridge or the freezer for like 40 minutes. It's just gonna make it a lot easier for you guys to cut if it's really cold or semi-frozen. While your brownie's chilling out, you can make your ganache. So I'm just gonna combine my cream and my chocolate, pop it into the microwave for one minute intervals until it's really nice and smooth. After one minute, you should be able to give it a little stir and it's either gonna be one or two minutes, just depending. Stir it through until it's really nice and smooth. In my opinion, the only frosting for a chocolate brownie is chocolate ganache. It's so incredibly rich. All right, my brownie's out of the freezer and that's like pretty solid. It's just gonna make it a lot easier, kind of harder to cut it, but a lot easier to move it around. So because I wanna make this like a little fatter, so it's like a double brownie, I'm gonna cut my brownie in half. It's so firm. Yeah. And then I'm gonna kind of guesstimate what a square is gonna look like. To get it out, just kind of like lever up the sides a little bit and you'll see that by freezing it, it's actually a lot easier for you to lift up and pull around as opposed to nice fresh brownie, which would just crack and crumble. If it cracks a little bit, it's fine. We can just stick it back together with chocolatey deliciousness. Ta-da! You could not do that if this wasn't at least semi-frozen. I've got just a square platter. You could also use like a square cake board. So I'm just gonna rest it down and then get my other half and we'll stack them up together. Then you wanna trim them off so both of your brownie layers are the same size and round off those edges so they kind of look a bit more like the Instagram logo. This is the terribly hard part of our job. Mmm, semi-frozen, it's so chewy. Yum. Once your two layers are stacked and you've kind of curved those edges a little bit so it resembles the Instagram logo, I just took a very small amount off the top edge so I didn't have like a high ridge. Now I'm gonna separate my two brownies and we're gonna cover them and fill them with ganache. So I want a little ganache in the middle. O-M-G. Once it's stacked, we'll cover the outside in ganache as well. The ganache should set up pretty quickly if your brownie's still frozen, which will actually be good because it'll stop it from like slopping over the sides or melting down the edges. It'll essentially set as it goes on. I'm covering the sides and then with any leftover ganache, I'm just gonna get a kind of level on top, which will level the playing field for all of our candy. <sighs> this is incredibly satisfying. So from here, we're gonna put that off to the side and roll out our white fondant. I'm gonna sprinkle down a little powdered sugar or some cornstarch or corn flour and roll out my fondant quite thick. So I've got a template and I just found an Instagram image and then sized it to about the size of my brownie. It's gonna depend on your brownie size, how big you need your picture to be. And then I cut around the inside white sections and use them as a template. 
Use a circle cutter for those little round dots and the round circles because it just makes life a bit easier. And I actually ended up with a piping tip for my smallest circle. Now it's time to layer our candy. When you're layering your candy, think about different shades of different colors and then different sizes of candy. This looks best when you've got light blues and dark blues and then light purples and dark purples and try to creep each color just slightly into the next one. So a little of your pink goes into your purple, a little of your orange goes into your yellow. So it really fades nicely and doesn't just look like big blocks of color. This part isn't hard, but you do want to allow about an hour for your candy placement. Perfect candy placement is worth it every time when you're making a candy mosaic. That's it, we are done. I'm gonna turn this baby around. You guys, we candy brownied the Instagram logo. I love how gorgeous this is. I love how easy it was, although a little time consuming. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you do for cool ideas like this and tons more. If you want me to see any of the things that you've made or if you recreate this, use the hashtag MyCupcakeAddiction. I share photos all the time and it's one of the only ways that I can actually see your creations. If you want to subscribe to the channel for new videos every week, you can. And as always, thanks very much for watching.